Today we're going to replace a Nintendo SD card reader. You're going to know when you have an SD card reader problem when it's telling you that it can't read the SD card, it's not detecting SD card. You restart the Nintendo Switch and it still has issues. Okay, so when that happens, it's probably time to replace your SD card reader. So in this video, I'm going to take a Nintendo Switch apart and replace the SD card reader and then test it out and see if it works. So let's get to it. Last time I opened this Nintendo Switch, guys, it drove me insane because it destroyed the screws and they're all stripped. It's going to be very difficult to remove them again. I barely got them back in last time. I have extra screws that I purchased on Amazon that are meant to fit all the little holes in the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so this is my backup plan right here. This is the SD card reader right here. This is $6 and I'll put links in the descriptions for anyone replacing the Nintendo Switch SD card reader. And I'll also put the backup screws on there as well. I don't know which size is which. And there's no guide. That's the sad part is they don't say they'll sell you this kit, but won't tell you which screws go for which size. If you're an expert, then sure, you're an expert. But most people doing this are probably not going to be an expert. First and foremost, let's just take off the controllers, the Joy-Cons. The exterior ones, I'll put right there. There's another one. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so there is four of them. So we have one, two, three, four that have been taken out using one of the tri head screwdrivers. Now we're going to switch over to the, the Phillips head. We're just going to take the middle screw out. We don't need to take any of the other screws out of these rails, just the middle one. side and we'll do rail on the right side now that we have the screws out and as you see it wasn't that many this gets popped off right there is the problem let's first see if we can fix it just by seeing if this got disconnected if not we're going to replace this with a new one so let's see Okay, so here's what I did. I heard it snap in place. You lift that up and that lifts off the motherboard as a little socket. Place it back, snap it back in to make sure when you hear it snap, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this again to see if maybe it just popped out of place. We're gonna put the SD card back in and now I'm gonna turn it back on and we're gonna see if it continues to not be able to read the disc. Yes, it's unable to access the disc. So that's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it now. Power options, turn off. Okay, it's off. This the card reader is definitely not working. So we're gonna take the card out. So we tested that it's not, it wasn't a loose connection. And this is a very small Phillips head. It's not a tri head. Okay. There's that. And we're going to put this little guy right there so we can see him. We're going to lift this off. At this point, we're just hoping that the motherboard is not damaged, that that port is not damaged, and that it's just a matter of replacing this thing. Let's go ahead and open up the replacement. Match it up. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. I can already tell by looking at this old one that the teeth here are a little bit loose. It looks like I tried to like force it in there. I didn't, I kind of slid it in here incorrectly and some of the teeth on here were damaged. 
can't really tell from this view. But when you compare this one, the teeth are much better shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this black layer. And I'm going to try to stick that here. And this is just to protect it, to give it some cushion. But at the same time, I think I'm going to wait because it was on there last time. It was hard to know where exactly where this thing landed. And if you don't, if you don't see where this is falling in perfectly to snap it in there, then I could end up bending the teeth again. It's not coming out. It's definitely seated in there. There's a cutout perfectly around the shape of the metal cutout above it. All right. Kind of hold it, hold the SD card reader with your finger while you screw it in. Don't over tighten because that could be an issue too. And it's in there. I'm going to put this sticky surface thing back on it. So that's probably to keep it from getting loose in case if it drops, it absorbs it so it doesn't pop back out. I'm going to pop it, the case back on and I just put it from the top and just snap it so you hear it pop all around. Let's give this a test run. Let's go ahead and take the SD card reader, slide it back in. Okay, it's in there. Let's see what happens. If you're just joining, uh, what we did so far was we took the screws out of the out of the switch, the uh, just the case. We left the metal plate and we just swapped out the broken SD card reader. In the beginning of the video, you'll see the error that we were getting. So if anyone out there is having this issue, it is so easy to just replace your SD card reader. So I am so happy my son can now play his Nintendo Switch again. The games are actually, you know, it's reading, it's detecting it. It's, it's awesome. So, and there you go. So we have successfully replaced the SD card reader. Very easy to do and good to go. All right, well, there it is. We were successful in replacing the SD card reader on the Nintendo Switch, and it only took about five minutes. Hopefully you learned something, or at least you know that you only have to take the middle screws out on the side rails, and the whole thing comes out, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to take out that uh, middle plate. Leave that alone. So I think it was $6 for the uh, SD card reader, and another six dollars for the spare uh, screws i didn't even use the spare screws so there you go all right links will be down below and if you like this video smash the like button share with your friends subscribe we do a lot of game streams so if you're into that come and join hang out with us all right thank you guys we'll see you later peace